guys, this is going to be my first actual game video. Um, I'm going to be doing it on EVE Online because, well, I've been playing EVE for, oh god, since 2011. Um, I've been playing it actually like in depth since 2012. 2011, I was just kind of a, a complete noob and I did not know what the fuck was going on at all. Um, so I'm thinking to make some guides. So today's going to be my first guide. And it's kind of odd because it's a guide that requires a bit of capital to begin with. Um, it's how to make money while you're not in the game itself. So one way you could do that is to fill stations with commonly bought items like um, newbie frigates that are in that races area. So like if you're in Kaldari State, it's good to fill up a station with uh, like herons, bantams. Actually, don't use bantams. They sell like shit. Um, herons. Uh, Kestrels, uh, Condors sell really well, a couple destroyers here and there, and it's, I advise you to put them in like 0 0.9 and 1.0 security status state, uh, solar systems because that's usually where the newbies hang out. Now what I'm going to getting at here is that you can go to Jita or any place wherever they sell them in large numbers, buy them for a low price, and for like you buy a heron or yeah you buy a heron for like 350k isk you throw it up in your freighter or industrial what have you you bring it over to that newbie area and you throw it up in the market for 750k and it will sell I guarantee you and if you can just do some quick math there that's nearly 300% profit or maybe 200 I'm not sure actually probably 200 I think or three and don't hold I'll put it in the bottom I'll fix it um, another thing you can do is if you see my wallet here I'm not actually this poor I just I just don't have money on this account um, you can see that I am selling iron charge s at this price 5.22 isk now I bought it a while ago for like two isk each and obviously I have a lot for sale and it's making me lots of money well not lots but enough and I'm just sitting here idle. I mean, I come back and after a day I've made like 5 mil, 10 mil. Um, I'm trading my other account, one of my alts, up to a freighter so I can actually get this going big time because right now I've just been using industrials to haul this around, which kind of sucks. Um, so yeah, that's the way you can make money is buy low and sell in places that are in need of that. Buying low and selling high, I find, doesn't really work that well in places like Jita because you're always going to have people either one isking you, which is when they go 0.1 isk higher, putting their offer at the top so the default buy will be theirs, not yours. Or you'll people flat out just destroying your prices and they take it. It's almost like territory. Like, you don't. They're very territorial about the market in Jita or Amar, Renz, um, any really trade hub that's somewhat large. There's about 10 of them. I'll put it in the bottom again. Um, I don't recommend that. I mean, I've made a couple bill there, but it's absolutely a pain in the ass. It's just annoying as hell to have to update your offer every five minutes, ten minutes, sometimes an hour if you find a good item. I mean, I made like a bill in, I think, five days, if that, just flipping orcas. But, again, these methods I'm saying today require a lot of capital, and... A lot of people don't have that capital, so my next video is going to be on how to make money without mining, because mining, I I understand why people do it at the beginning, it's not bad, but the problem what people do is they keep mining, and then they get bored of the game, because all they're doing is eating rocks all day, it's not, that's not how the game is supposed to be played, at all. So, yeah, the next one I'll explain how to make money by not mining and it's a lot more fun and it's probably gonna make you more money and if even if it breaks even with the mining you don't want to punch yourself in the face because mining's just not fun mining is lame mining is why would you play a game just to eat rocks I don't understand but that'll be in the next video so basically um, keep an eye out if you want to see more subscribe if you don't if you like the video like it if you have any constructive criticism, throw it at the bottom. If you want to say anything or make a request, I'll do it. Um, I understand this game fairly well. I'm not going to say I know everything about the game because, quite frankly, no one does because it's just that deep. Like, no one fully understands everything about this game. 
and they're constantly adding new content too. Um, it's it's a really in-depth game, and for sure the learning curve is very high. And the amount of tutorials on YouTube is just so nice because new players just need all the help they can get, or else they just they won't stick with the game. So I hope this will help out. And uh, as always, have a